On this trail recon adventure, my son and I head for the desert where he is taking his 2015 Toyota Tacoma out for its very first long distance off the grid overnight trip. Along the way, we enjoy some incredible desert scenery, search for some old gold mine remains, stumble across a bit of old railroad history, find the perfect campsite with a sunset that was like one we had never seen before, cook up some great chow, and enjoy some good father and son adventure together. However, this trip was not without a few challenges along the way. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad. And I'm Jordan. And today we are out here northeast of the Salton Sea and we are going to head deep off the grid out here in the desert on the Bradshaw Trail, which is about a 75 mile long trail that I've done twice before. You've never done it. Nope, first time. So we're just gonna go explore. The times that I've come through here, I've just kind of cruised right through and haven't slowed down and explored some of the history, some of the offshoots and we might even find some cool mines if we're lucky. Yeah. So that'll be super cool. And then we're gonna camp out here for the night. So just getting deep off the grid, having a good time. So my goal for this trip is to explore this trail. Your goal for this trip is what? Uh, pretty much just get to know the, the Tacoma. Yeah. Um, packed it out with all the camping gear last night, yeah. so see how it works. Yeah, you spent quite a bit of time figuring out the storage in the truck. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, but this is gonna be the first good opportunity to kind of get a feel for that. So what do you say we air down and hit the trail? Yeah, let's do it. All right, this could be great. There are a lot of benefits to airing down your tires, like making your ride more comfortable on rough terrain, improving grip over rocks, and what we will be needing it for on this trip is having a wider tire footprint in the deep sand. What PSI you air down to really depends on your vehicle weight and the type of tires, but we typically air down to about 15 to 20 PSI on a trail like this. We are beginning this trip a few miles away on the northeast side of the Salton Sea here in California on the Myers Run Trail, which is one of many trails in the area that links up to the Bradshaw Trail, which is where we will be spending most of our time over the next two days. The Myers Run zigzags up and down along the Coachella Canal for several miles. It's an engaging trail and a convenient starting point to get us to the Bradshaw Trailhead. Jordan, how you doing back there, buddy? Pretty good, the uh, Tacoma's pretty comfortable. Yeah, you keep saying that, man. I, are you becoming a Tacoma convert from Jeep? I mean, I still love Jeeps, but I mean, I'm liking this thing a lot. Yeah, I think there's a lot to be said about that, especially on a, on a trail like this where we're just gonna be putting in some long miles on some pretty easy terrain. Yeah, um, it's still taking a little getting used to going through those ruts, because I'm not sure what I'm gonna scrape, but I mean, it's doing well so far. Yeah, well, we get you a little higher in the air and some bigger tires. It'll make uh, make all this much smoother, so it'll be cool. Now, look, this trail is a long ways. Uh, we're gonna do you in 75 miles, but we're gonna add a bunch of extra miles to it because we're gonna go do some exploring. So we gotta keep an eye on our gas. Uh, I think me more than you. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you only used what half a half a gallon more than I did coming out here, so. I mean, it's kind of close, but on the trail, it might be a little different. Yeah, the fuel economy on the 392 on road is okay, but uh, when it gets on the trail, man, this V8, when you're slow rolling, is just thirsty. So I think uh, I think you're definitely going to be doing better than me, but we don't have any extra fuel, so we just got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I think the Tacoma's going to be fine. Uh, I actually don't know how big the gas tank is. So I think I should know that, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I, I would imagine it's probably at least 21, maybe a little bit bigger. I, and I know they have uh, larger fuel tanks for that thing, so maybe that's something we look at uh, down the road. Yeah, I've seen some like 33 gallon tanks that might be a nice upgrade. Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, it's still early. We got a long ways to go and a lot of exploring to do, but, uh, but I'm cooking dinner tonight and uh, I'm gonna do one of our old favorites. You okay with that? Oh yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to that. Yeah, I haven't made the blackened salmon sandwiches in a in a while, but uh, but I'm actually looking forward to it. And you've got uh, you've got breakfast duty in the morning. Yeah, I'm thinking breakfast might be a little bit better than dinner, but I'm excited for both. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. All right, let's go lay down some miles, buddy. Good.
miles down the trail, we reached the start of the Bradshaw Trail, which was once known as the Gold Road, a historic route established in 1862 by William Bradshaw, and it spans over 75 miles south of the Chukwala Mountains along a very rugged desert landscape. This trail will take you very remote into the backcountry, so being prepared out here is an absolute must. There is limited cell phone service out here, and even on a weekend, we didn't encounter very many travelers along the trail. Also, it's very important to stay on the trail because you will be traveling along the boundary of an active bombing range, and you don't want your rig to become target practice out there. If you plan on coming out here in the summer, know that the temperatures will often reach well over 110 degrees, so you have to bring plenty of water. Also, make sure someone back home knows your travel plan, and it's always best to bring a buddy in another vehicle, or in my case, my son in his truck. That's pretty crazy, Jordan, that they've ripped up that railroad. I mean, just think about all the work that must have gone in just to building it. Yeah, and now they took it apart. I wonder if it uh, took more effort to build it or to take it apart. I don't know, that's a good question. Although, I don't know, I feel like anytime I pull something apart, it's always easier. Yeah, but you have to think, that's a lot of like huge nails they, they gotta pull out. Yeah, just, just the amount of resources to build that thing. I mean, you know, to carve it through those canyons and to build the berms man it was just an effort bang, way back when when they built that thing and now it's uh now it's just all in ruins that's pretty crazy yeah it's wild to think about how about these mountains i mean look at the colors out here there's like purple and tan and gray and dark red and man i, I didn't expect all these colors today yeah when you said we were coming out here and it's just desert this is not really what i was expecting it's a lot more scenic yeah, I gotta admit, it's been a few years since I've been out here, so I kind of forgot. There are some sections where it's pretty barren, but uh, this section is definitely beautiful, I think. Yeah, it's really nice out here. That's a pretty good little combination with the London broil and the cheese and the lettuce. It yeah. worked out pretty good. It was I mean, interesting, but I mean, I liked it. Yeah, better than a sandwich. Yeah, better yeah. than a sandwich. Well, good spot. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a slight challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, we are using three different navigation apps on this trip because you are going to get familiar with Onyx Off-Road. Yep. I am using Guy, which I typically use, and I'm using also TrailsOffRoad.com. Now, I sat down on the computer and kind of mark some waypoints and some mines and some potential camping spots and guy and for whatever reason it's not uploaded into my ipad and i don't have connectivity anymore so i don't know what those waypoints are i thought i was being clever with trailsoffroad.com because i was like oh i got it. all the waypoints are there but before we lost connectivity i didn't make sure i had the whole map saved and I know that you're using Onyx Off-Road for the first time, and I don't, you probably don't have the entire map on there as well, right? Yeah, no, it's not, it's not saved on there. Yeah, so we're really winging it from yep. here on out. Uh, I know there's some cool stuff this way, and uh, we're just going to go explore. We may just go find a campsite, call it uh, at camp today, and maybe explore tomorrow, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. But yep. uh, much was good. You ready to roll? Yeah, let's go. Let's go.
Well, I'll tell you what, buddy, we have been putting down the miles for a while. We've been able to kind of pick up our pace. How's the Toyota holding up? Uh, it's doing really well, actually. Um, the one thing I didn't know is that the traction control turns off over uh, 30 miles an hour. Oh, that's interesting. And we've been in some kind of thick sand. How are you doing in the sand? Uh, it's doing fine. Um, it's pretty comfortable and it's uh, it's actually sliding around more than I'm used to. Yeah, well, it's been nice to be able to kind of just cruise a little bit and lay down some miles. And I got to say, I take back what I said. Uh, it's beautiful out here. I mean, it's been a couple of years since I've been here and I think I forgot just how gorgeous it is out here. Yeah, this is totally not what I was expecting today. It's the weather's beautiful and the scenery is really nice. A lot of changing colors. Yeah, I'm with you. We've definitely had uh, changing colors, terrain, the plant life even. I mean, it's so green even right here where we're at. Yeah, I'm not mad about this. Yeah. No, not at all. I, uh, I don't know if we're going to hit a mine before camp, but uh, I think I think we're going to have a really nice campsite if this all holds up. Yeah, I think we can find something really nice. Yeah. Well, Jordan, what do you think? I don't see anything. No, there's no mine out here. Yeah, so we saw on the map right here, it had a picture of a mine, and uh, I don't see anything. I don't see any remains of a building, no evidence of a shaft. No. This one might be a bust. Maybe once upon a time, but it's not here now. Yeah, maybe a while ago. Oh, well. All right, I pulled over because I wanted to take a look at the map here real quick, but that last mine was a bust. Yeah, so there's nothing there. There's nothing there. But I know there's stuff out here, mm -hmm. and we are halfway through this trail, almost. Yeah. And so, even though it's afternoon, I would like to get to camp early, maybe what we can do is we can look at one of these spots, go find camp, and then tomorrow, I mean, we've got all day yeah. to explore. So, these mountains back here, this trail goes all the way back, and you can see it terminates right at like the edge of those mountains. Mm -hmm. And there's also, it looks like a, some kind of well up there. I don't know if there's water in it, but that'd be kind of cool. But there's also a couple other trails right here in this little area. So I think, let's go head off the trail. Let's go explore and see what we find. If we find camp, great. If we find something else, cool. If not, we'll just keep on going until we find camp. But I think uh, I would like to get to camp here pretty soon. Yeah? Yeah. Some salmon sandwiches sound pretty good right now. They really do. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You don't smell it? It's really like something burning. I don't know what it is, though. Uh, you see any oil leaking anywhere? No. You didn't see any smoke? No. I just smell it. Why are you coming from inside? Yeah, now I smell it for sure. Yeah. Interesting, because I smelled it like right here. Yeah. You think maybe it's something with these wires? All right, guys, we stopped because Jordan was smelling something burning. We didn't see any smoke. You didn't see any smoke, did you? No. And we don't know if it was coming from inside or outside the truck. I definitely smelled it once I walked over here next to the driver's side door, but we can't find anything. I, I do wonder if maybe it was just a little, you know, shrub or something that got uh, stuck underneath, but uh, let's take it slow if you, <laughs> if you see any smoke. Or if you smell it again, let's just stop and uh, we can investigate a little harder. Yeah. So what happened? Well, I'm coming down this trail and I felt the steering wheel pull to the right. And then you're like on the radio, dang, that sucks. And I was like, what sucks? And then come out here and look and lo and behold, we got a flat. So at least we're in a nice flat spot and uh, we'll get this changed real quick.
here for? Really? <laughs> Did we have a problem? Ah. There it is. That's one. <laughs> Man, that does a little over torque. I didn't know that you tighten your lug nuts so tight. Well, these were last time done when the tires were rotated when I got the oil change at the Jeep dealership. So huh. I don't know what they torque these things to, but Woo. they're tight. Thanks for your help. Yeah, that was uh, that was a lot harder than it should have been. It, it was. Those uh, those lug nuts were on there way too yeah. tight. Uh, I'm whooped after <laughs> doing that. Uh, look, it's interesting because on the map the trail keeps going straight, but mm -hmm. there's a wilderness sign right here, and so the trail looks like it just kind of winds back, and we're not sure where it leads. It looked like it went to the base of the mountains, yeah. but I don't want to go if that's wilderness area. We don't want to do that. We did see. A nice little flat spot kind of mm -hmm. in a little dip back yeah. there can make for a nice camp spot and i mean dude yeah sky the mountains the weather it's perfect right mm -hmm. now so i say we gently go back <laughs> on these sharp rocks yeah because we're going on more flats and let's go hit that camp spot okay sounds good
Let's get the dinner's ready. camp all set up and uh, we were gonna roll right into getting dinner going but I mean look at that sky that is incredible yeah we're just gonna soak this in for a few minutes and uh, and then we'll get dinner going but man we could not have asked for a prettier sunset out here that is gorgeous Jordan, you do not get a sunset at camp like that every day. No, this is amazing. Incredible, uh, mind-blowing sunset. I hope that it, we captured it well on camera. Uh, dinner tonight is one of our favorites, yes? Oh yeah. We're not, and one we actually haven't had in a long time. Uh, we're going to cook up some salmon fillets. We're gonna use some blackening seasoning. We've got some brioche buns, which we're gonna toast and just have some salmon sandwiches. And we've got some potato salad. Nothing fancy, but it'll be a nice, hot, hearty meal. And uh, I gotta say, you know, I don't usually talk about the weather, but a desert evening like this, no wind, totally quiet, amazing sunset. I don't know, Jordan, we scored, we scored tonight. Yeah, this has to be one of the best trips I've been on in yeah, a while. This is awesome. for dinner. You're welcome. I'm excited. We haven't had these in a long time. Although, you know, I feel like it's one of those things that maybe we overhyped because we haven't had it in so long. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No. No, still pretty good. Still pretty uh, good. <laughs> That's awesome. Salmon sandwiches. Very simple. I think the bun is the important piece. You mm -hmm. gotta have a good brioche bun. It's a good day, buddy. Yeah, really good day. Like, I did not expect it to be this kind of day. I mean, look, we... We're not sure what happened to your Tacoma, but there was some smoke coming out of there or some it smelled like something smoke. was burning. Yeah, we were afraid it was catching fire and then shortly thereafter I get a flat tire and uh, it all happened for a reason because we ended up at this awesome camping spot. Yeah. So it's just did not expect this to be out here. Yeah. No, this is amazing. And so tomorrow we'll uh, take our time getting up. And then, uh, and then we'll go explore some of these other uh, trails. Be careful for sharp rocks, though. Yeah. <laughs> I know I say it all the time, but I really can't overemphasize how important it is to have an adventure and get out to places like this with friends and family and make some amazing memories. This day here, I guarantee my son and I will never forget.
Buddy, that smells good. Yeah. And Come. you're just getting started. Yeah. So we're doing kielbasas with uh, eggs? Yeah, kielbasas, eggs, um, maybe a little cheese, and then just throw it on tortilla with some salsa. Okay, well, it smells smells great, and I'm hungry. Uh, we've already had some coffee, a nice relaxing morning. Yeah. Beautiful out here. It's really nice. Yeah, do you sleep good? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that mattress was uh, super comfortable. Yeah, the Thermo Rest mattress is really nice. It was interesting, though, because we could hear the bombing range mm -hmm. last night. In fact, there's even a gunship we can hear flying around there this morning. So that yeah. was a, it's pretty surreal because it's super quiet, and then you hear, like, yeah, off in the distance. So, kind of funny. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm stoked for breakfast, but I gotta ask, what's up? What's up with this goat milk? Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> we were looking for the smallest container of milk, uh -huh. and I was like, oh, that one says raw milk. It's you know relatively small. Uh -huh. I was like, okay. Yeah. Goat and milk. Then we get to check out and see that it's it's goat milk. All right. Well, this will be interesting breakfast. But yeah, I'm I'm hungry, so I'll eat. I've never tried goat milk, so. All right. Well, uh, guys, the plan today is uh, we're, we're taking our time and uh, we're gonna enjoy some breakfast, enjoy this beautiful desert scenery. And then we're gonna pack up and uh, I've got a mine that I identified last night on the map and we're gonna go, we are gonna find at least one mine before we get off this trail. And so that's the plan. So yeah. we're gonna have some breakfast and then pack up and hit the road. Kielbasa, yep. breakfast burrito, yep. infused with goat milk. Yeah, here we go. That's pretty good, dude. It's not bad. That's pretty good. I could eat that. I could eat that at camp again. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks for making breakfast. Yeah. So we just pulled over. Jordan said he was smelling smoke again. What do you think, buddy? What do you think it is? I don't know. It's coming from inside, though. I think so. You know, I almost wonder, could it be the refrigerator? Uh, I mean, we said that refrigerator wasn't working well, right? That's all these wires back here. Uh-oh, let's take a look. Let me see back there. All right, it seems like the smell is coming from back here. We can't really identify anything except this little small, looks like a burn. I don't know if it's glue or, it's not hot though, but it smells like it's coming back from here. And whoever installed a, a stereo and amplifier before 
I mean, they capped all these off, but we're wondering if maybe this is part of the problem. So let's see if we can figure out where the uh, original connection is on this. And let's just disconnect it, Jordan. I'm pretty sure this was some kind of amplifier wire, and they've got it running all the way underneath the carpet here. You see where it comes out over there, Jordan? No, you not on this side. And we know it's not connected to the battery, so... Probably going to the stereo. We've got to figure out where the power is coming from. Maybe it's maybe that's not it, but we need to investigate. That's the only suspect right now. So here's those wires under the dash. We're not going to be able to pull the dash apart because I think these go to the stereo. So I think two things need to happen. Let's talk to Jordan and see how he feels about it. All right, so I think we have possibly two culprits. We don't know which one it is. Mm -hmm. The amplifier speaker wires, we don't know anything about those wires. No. But they're not hot. No. The one thing we do know, though, is your fridge mm -hmm. was not holding temperature. Yep. You had to set it down to like below freezing and it was just staying barely above 40. So I wonder if maybe that compressor is working overtime. Yeah, I'm hoping it's the fridge. I, I say we try that first and okay. see if the smell goes away because I really don't want to turn the radio off. Okay, why don't we take everything that's in your fridge, throw it in mine, and then we'll go from there. But you might have to run without a radio, dude. I, I think I'm hoping it's the fridge. <laughs> All right, Jordan, you're smelling it again. Yeah, I got a little whip of it. So it's not the fridge. Not the fridge. Uh, but you think it's coming from outside? Do I don't think it was the fridge or the stereo because I don't smell it when I'm driving, only yeah. when we open the doors and hop out. And we've been driving for a few miles and yeah. now you're starting to smell it again. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I wonder, you know, I, we don't see any leaks, but maybe there's something dripping on the manifold or the yeah. exhaust. We don't see any smoke. No, that's a good thing. So that's a good thing. So we'll just, uh, we got fire extinguishers. And we'll just keep a close eye on it. Yeah, I'm hoping it's just like a branch got stuck up there and is smoking a little bit. So. Yeah. I mean, we've been under the truck and we can't find anything. No. So we'll just, uh, if it gets worse, we'll stop to pull over and yeah. go from there. Let's not catch your new truck on fire, dude. Let's hope not. Hey, good news is your fridge and your radio are yeah. all good to go. We both spent a good amount of time under his truck, under the hood, and just investigating all possible options. And we just couldn't find anything. A little concerning, but thankfully there was no smoke. We just wanted to make sure we can get home safely and, well, not end up like this car which is on the side of the trail, which obviously didn't have success in making it home. Alright guys, well, we have a decision to make. Yep. We have spent quite a bit of time uh, over the last hour underneath your truck, inside your truck, under the hood of your truck. We can't figure out where that smell is coming from. No. It's not, there's no smoke. It's not a massive amount, but there's definitely enough to be curious. Yeah. So there's something melting. There's something dripping. It's, I don't even know if it's electrical. Yeah, it's just something you don't want to smell out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, definitely. And we are absolutely in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Um, I got to say, though. This trail has surprised me this trip. Yeah. Um, I think going into it, I told you that ah, it's not that big a deal. It's just some, you know, open desert. But really, now that we've slowed down and taken our time through here, buddy, I, I want to come back. Yeah, this place is beautiful. I want to come back for sure. It's beautiful. There are uh, there are so many trails that, you know, just in this last hour we saw and we're like, oh, I want to go explore there. Yeah. And so I think we're coming back. Yeah, I hope so. But I think right now the wise decision is to head back home. Is to call it. Um, I think we need to take the shortest route out of here and uh, and wrap this up. So unfortunately, guys, this is uh, sometimes this is how adventure goes. It's not what we expected. It's not what we planned. No. We still had a great time. Yeah. I mean, a little bummed out we're heading back early, but I mean, it was a great trip overall. It's a great trip. A great place. Great campsite. Breakfast with the goat milk burritos <laughs> was pretty awesome. It's been a good trip, dude. And you know yeah. what? We'll sort this out. We'll come back out again. Yeah, definitely have to come back out here. It's been good, man. Guys, thanks for joining us. And uh, 
make sure you subscribe to the channel because uh, we're going to come back out here again and definitely go visit some of those side trails. If you haven't been over to trailrecon.com, make sure you check us out over there. We've got all kinds of great gear to outfit your next adventure. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.